Hello everyone, welcome back to Paul's Halls. My name is Paul and this is my haul. This is the weekly unboxing of the Subbyville Public Library's books that we received during this week. And I am super excited today because we have six boxes to go through. Uh, there's a lot. So without further ado, let's see what we got in the boxes today. So our first book is from James Patterson and James O'Born. It is called Shattered, a Michael Bennett thriller. This is the newest Michael Bennett book. Ah. We have an audio book for teens. It is a novella called Nick and Charlie. It's a solitaire novella. Alice Osman wrote a very popular YA book called Solitaire. She also wrote Loveless and a bunch of other things. And this is a novella that um, is on audiobook. Next, we have a replacement copy of Veronica Ross, Allegiant. We have My Hero Academia. This is number 31. This is a uh, teen manga. We have Sarah Vaughn. It is called Reputation. Reputation from Sarah Vaughn. We have a new Mark Greeny book. Uh, this is called Armored. If you're into Jack Ryan, Tom Clancy type books, I think Mark Greeny is your next big read. In that vein, we have the new Brad Thor book. It is called Rising Tiger. Always popular with patrons. We have the new Tess Garrison book. This is the Rizzoli and Isles series, and this one is called Listen to Me. If you like crime procedurals, I think you would like this book. Next, we have Gabrielle Zevin's newest book, and this is an adult book. It is called Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow. Gabrielle Zevin wrote one of my favorite books, The Story to Life of A.J. Fickery. I love that book. It's all about books. All right, box number two, or three, can't count. All right, in this box, first off, we have a lot of kids' books. The first one is from Scott Stewart. It is called My Shadow is Purple. This is a best-selling series from Alice Wallstein and Megan Joyce. It's called How to Catch a Witch. Great book for this coming up Halloween. We have a teen manga. This is Jujutsu Kaisen number five. A young adult manga. This is Pokemon Adventures volume three. This is the beginning of the series. We have Demon Slayer number six. This is a slice of life teen manga. A slice of life manga is a manga that is just about everyday life, mostly about school. This one is called Horemiya. Uh, this is the first one in that series. And then we have Horemiya number two. We have Tokyo Ghoul number seven. More kids books. We have Odd Bird by Derek DeCirto. We have Berry Song by Michaela Goad. This one looks beautiful. Ah, we have some more Who Would Win books. Polar Bear versus Grizzly Bear. Who would win? I'm going with a polar bear. Those things are huge. Uh, who would win? The Ultimate Reptile Rumble. So we have an alligator, uh, snake, lizards. These are all by Jerry uh, Pallotta. He is making a killing off of writing these books. Here we go. Who would win Extreme Animal Rumble? So this is a larger book. This is five books in one. That's exciting. Oh, man. All right, some adult books now. We have Barbara O'Neill, uh, This Place of Wonder. We have Sarah Purse. The Retreat. We have Katie Turr. This is called Rough Draft. Uh, this is a memoir from Katie Turr. 
Let's see, Katie Turr is an MS, MSNBC anchor and New York Times bestselling author. Hmm. So it's her life of chasing the news. We have the regular print edition of James Patterson's Shattered. We have the regular print edition of Daniel Silva's Portrait of an Unknown Woman. We have Catherine Center's new romance book. It is called The Bodyguard. Dean Kuntz's newest book is called The Big Dark Sky. And then finally for this box, we have Jennifer Chivieran. It is called Switchboard Soldiers. This is historical fiction about the um, heroic women who served in the U.S. Army Signal Corps during the World War I. Okay, next box. In this box, we have some kids' books. We have The Fifth Quarter by Mike Dawson. We have The Fifth Quarter Hard Court, sorry, by Mike Dawson, another uh, basketball-centered juvenile graphic novel. Next, we have Heartstopper, Volume 2, and Heartstopper, Volume 4. These are both uh, graphic novels for teens, and they're pretty great. And we have one last box to open. Let's see what we got. All right, in this box we have Megan Miranda. It is called The Last to Vanish. We have a nonfiction book called Hollywood Ending Harvey Weinstein in the Culture of Silence from Ken Aletta, maybe? His last name's Aletta, possibly. Be, be really interesting to know, like, how much that whole thing infiltrated Hollywood. Next, we have Susan Wiggs. This is called Sugar and Salt. We have a teen manga. Um, this is an omnibus with two volumes in it. It's called Tokyo Revengers. And the last book for this haul is a YA book, and it's called Love Times Infinity by Lane Clark. So those are the books for this haul of this week. A lot of great stuff in here, really diverse group of books as well. So I will see you all next time. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on social media. Our website is at selbyvillelibrary.org. You can see a lot of the Paul's Halls videos there. Uh, I will see you all next time. Thanks.